It's Navi Woodrock Brown here, and you're about to watch the latest offering from us here at Wiscana, describing our lean journey, our corporate wall. Before you watch the film, I wanted to highlight just a couple of points. Good visual controls are key. They've got to be easy to read. Everything on the wall should flag a discussion, and indeed, everything that you discuss should be posted, because not only are we tracking our progress, we're being open and we're being accountable for that. It's the right thing to do. Secondly, like life, a wall is dynamic. It's got to reflect not only what we are doing, but what we need to do. You'll hear that we've added a couple of new indicators, and although these were posted, indeed still are posted at a summary level, we realized that how they were being displayed wasn't flagging for us how well the system was working or not. And now it does. For me, that speaks to continuous improvement, and it's another example of us in our lean journey. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello, my name is Nairi Woodroff Brown. I'm the director for the Extended Care Veterans Program here at Wisconsin Rehab Center. What I wanted to show you today was the newly created Extended Care Veterans Program corporate wall. Visual management is one of the cornerstones of lean. Visible information, visible processes, visible leadership, open reporting. Those involved in providing care, involved in reporting out on that care. Talking about what's going well and not so well. What can we do differently? So you'll see we have the corporate wall here. And one of the first things that people say when they see this is, wow, is that big. And my reply, it's not the size that matters. This is where we come to talk about what's going well and not so well. What do we need to keep doing? What do we need to stop doing? And what do we need to start doing in order to hit our targets? Because otherwise, it's just a big piece of furniture. So we designed this wall in specific response to what our staff told us at the last engagement survey. Where do I fit in? Where does what I do at the front line in meeting patients' needs fit into the regional strategy or indeed the provincial strategy that was designed way over here. So here we have our key starting points. A diagrammatic showing the link between the government of Saskatchewan, elected by the public, so truly the voice of the people. The Ministry of Health and the provincial health care system whose overall goal is to think and act as one, and the Regina Capel Health Region. The region's strategic framework with its four components of better care, better health, better value, and better teams. The foundational aspects of the culture of safety, patient and family-centered care, continuous improvement in thinking and acting as one. Our mission and our values. Well, how will we achieve the strategic framework? Well, that's through the Saskatchewan Healthcare Management System, again with foundational aspects of cost reduction through the elimination of waste and level production. The two quality pillars, and then the heart of the diagram, people, materials, and machine. An opportunity for us to really exhibit leadership behaviors and systems to drive performance right through the roof so that we can truly transform healthcare using standard work, Kanban, tack time, and one piece flow. So let's remember the exam question though. That's wonderfully setting the scene. But where do I fit in? Where does the Extended Care Veterans Program fit in? Well, do you remember the strategic priorities of better care, better teams, better value, and better health? This is where we fit in. For better health, we'll achieve this through delivering against our provincial MBSQI comparators. Against better care, we'll reduce the staff injuries per month. Against better teams, We'll work on those links with residents and families, focusing in on those partnership approaches. Against better value, well, we'll hit our bottom line. So that's part number one, that clear line of sight. But how does strategy drive our daily work? Part number two, 
Let's remember that daily work accounts for about 80% of things that we do. And here is our daily work board for the Extended Care Veterans Program. You'll note that we divided this into two parts, our foundational aspects and our improvement projects. Foundational aspects are absolutely vital because if we don't get these right, then anything else is potentially not sustainable and can si simply topple. For the ECVAC program, our foundational aspects are linen services, materials management, and staffing levels. We must achieve these aspects in order to provide quality care to our residents. If we don't hit these, then it doesn't matter about anything else. In the spirit of continuous improvement, you'll know that we have a couple of new metrics, staffing levels. We're now looking at vacancies and the number of times the previous week that we didn't work to baseline. Once again, we want leveled production. We want to even out those day-to-day -day variations. We want stable staffing. So now we report on these. This is where we come to see what's working well and not so well. You'll note against our projects, we've got a number of projects here and a number of nursing units and therapy areas. Seven nursing units, seven therapy areas of varying sizes. The ECVAC program is under one leadership. We have one care model, one mission, one vision, one set of values. So it's no surprise we see ourselves as a soon-to-be kings and queens of replication. Why reinvent the wheel? So we've talked about daily work. We've talked about strategy. We've talked about the link between the two. How do we measure the success of that strategy in daily work? That's part number three, our metrics. Targeted and following the QCDSM model. Each week, the managers will, re will report out on these. This week, we talked about delivery, hand hygiene, targeted, focused discussion on what's going well and not so well. What do we need to do differently? What do we need to change? What do we need to start doing in order to hit that target? Next week, we'll move on to safety. Each week, as I say, the managers have three minutes to do a very brief, focused report on and providing an update against their daily work board, the metric, and also provide an update on our Kaizen Improvement Plan. Our Kaizen Improvement Plans are derived from the units and the care areas, projects that those teams have said are important. And the walk closes with the director's action plan. My task list coming out of the wall. It's public, it's out there, and I'm accountable for that. You'll note that I've made specific reference to going to the workplace, or the units, the work areas, at least once per day. That is so, so important. Daily management, good leadership, isn't being holed away in the office. We all know that our staff told us they want to see our leaders, they want us to lift barriers, they want us to lift roadblocks, they want us to make a difference. And that's not only for the staff, but it's also for our residents and family members. We've also recently added a section here on safety alerts to be reviewed. These are items of risk or of safety that have risen during the previous week. So there you have it. The Extended Care Veterans Program Corporate Wall. Some people call it the Corporate Wall, but for me, this is my office. Out there in the nursing units, that may be very well where the physical aspects of care are provided, but right here on this wall is where I picture it in all its glory. Yes, this wall is new, but it's evolving. We are continuously making improvements. Our managers, our leaders are getting better and better at reporting out on these items. We will get there. We are transforming healthcare. We are making an absolute difference. In fact, given the evolving nature of this wall, 
We recognize that our unit walls also need to change. We think we've identified what's happening and what we need to do differently, but more on that another day. Thanks. Look forward to talking with you again.